What is zero raised to the power of zero? Let's think about zero raised to other powers. Zero to the third power is zero, zero to the second power is zero, and zero to the first power is also zero. If we follow the positive exponents, it seems like zero raised to the power of zero should be zero. But zero to the negative first power is one over zero, which is undefined, and same with zero to the negative two power. But the negative exponents imply zero raised to the power of zero should be undefined. Let's attack this from a different angle. Other numbers raised to zero equal one. This pattern implies that zero raised to zero should also be one. So it seems like there isn't really a single correct answer, which is true. But depending on the context you're working in, one answer may be better than the others. The best definition should be consistent, reduce needless complexity, and be useful. Most mathematicians agree that in many cases, one is the best definition. Let's look at two reasons for this. A raised to B can be viewed as the number of sets of B elements that can be chosen from a set of A elements. For example, two to the first power can be viewed as the number of sets of one element that can be chosen from a set of two elements. Then zero raised to the power of zero is the number of sets of zero elements that can be chosen from a set of zero elements, which must be one. So one is the only definition consistent with this interpretation of exponentiation. In this context, any other definition would needlessly complicate things. For another case where one is a useful definition, let's look at the binomial theorem. When x equals zero, this simplifies to one equals zero raised to the power of zero times one. In this case, the only definition that makes the binomial theorem true is one. Again, one is the only definition that avoids needless complexity. However, depending on the type of math you're doing, one may not always be the best definition. For example, let's look at some limits. The limit of a function at point A is the value the function approaches as its input approaches A. We're interested in limits of the form zero raised to zero when x equals zero. A simple one is the limit of x raised to the power of zero as x approaches zero. Since x raised to zero is one at all other points, its limit at zero is one as well. This seems to confirm that zero raised to zero is one, but there are other limits of the same form with different values. The limit of zero raised to x from the right is zero, and from the left it's undefined. And other limits of the form zero raised to zero can be any value, like this one, which is e. These conflicts are good reasons to call zero raised to zero an indeterminate form, or undefined, when you're dealing with limits. These are the only definitions that are consistent with the way we define limits. So what is zero raised to zero? It depends. Often one is the best answer, but when dealing with limits, undefined or indeterminate form is more sensible. Depending on the type of math you're doing, even definitions and conventions can change. Find the answers to more questions like this at brilliant.org.